This video was made possible by the EA Game Changers program. Hi guys, it's Chrissy and welcome back to the first speed build on the channel using the new Sims 4 Realm of Magic game pack. So first off, I just want to give a huge thank you to EA and the Game Changers program for providing me with an early access code for the pack so that I could make this speed build and a bunch of other fun early access content for you guys so that you guys could have a chance to see, you know, what's in the pack, what's coming with the pack and all of those kinds of fun things before you actually get the pack on Tuesday so tomorrow you guys will be getting the pack and yeah I hope you guys enjoy this speed build if this is the first video of mine you're watching hi I'm Chrissy I'm a South African simmer and I am an EA game changer as you guys could probably tell from the fact that I have early access but yeah I love doing speed builds on my channel my channel is mainly speed builds but I do also do a few creator sims here and there as well as some you know current household updates and some other updates and random videos here and there on the channel but my main thing that I do on the channel is speed builds so naturally when I got the pack the first thing I did was build something and this is the first thing that I actually built with the pack it was the first time that I got to try out the build buy items and got to play around with them and I loved seeing the items I love the items in this pack as a builder I'm completely obsessed with the build buy items and I loved just playing around with them and seeing how they worked with some of the other things that we have in the game. Especially the vampires pack and the get together pack. They work really really well with this pack so yeah I really loved using a bunch of these things and I love how this little cottage turned out as you guys could probably tell as well. This is for my rebuild Glimmerbrook series. This is the first build that I'm doing for that projects I guess for my save file since I am working on putting together a save file I've decided to add this to Glimmerbrook for that save file and I'm going to have the Abbott family living here and the Abbott family is going to be the sims that I will be creating a little bit later today I will actually two hours after this video goes out I will be putting up a creator sim of the Abbott family now they aren't completely the way that they're going to be in the save file i'm going to change them up a little bit i'm going to add a few members to the family not really exciting members but i'm going to add a few members to the family for the save file but i just thought i would show you guys me creating them since they were the first sims that i created with this pack and i didn't plan on putting them in the save file if i'm completely honest this house wasn't even supposed to be in the save file. I just created the sims and then I built this house. I didn't even build this house for them. I just built the house. And I ended up loving this house so much that I decided that I have to put it in my save file. And I figured, you know, the sims, the Abbott family would work really well with, you know, this house. Once I change them up a little bit. So yeah, those are the sims and this is the house. But yeah, so this house is a two bedroom, one and a half bathroom little cottage. And it looks, I don't know, I don't want to say it looks big from the outside. Since for me personally, it doesn't really look big. But it's really, really cramped on the inside. You know, the bedrooms and even the living space is really, really small. But I spent a lot of time just cluttering everything. And I spent more time cluttering this build than I think I've ever done for a build, if I'm completely honest. I loved just cluttering and putting a bunch of random things everywhere. And I don't know, I just love how this turned out. You guys will see me throughout the video pulling out a bunch of random things. So random things from this pack, from other packs, especially landscaping and stuff like that. You'll see me using a lot of the show live edit object landscaping. That's, I think, why this build isn't all that expensive. I used a lot of the debug landscaping items, which, as you guys know, is free. So, yeah, a bunch of those, those things I will end up pulling out and just plopping down on the lot. And then I'll go in later and actually put them where I want them to be. Same with the inside. I will be going through the catalog, for example, when I'm in the kitchen. I'm going through the catalog and I'll find a bunch of new things from Realm of Magic that I know I want to use. But I know that if I don't pull them out right now, I'll forget about them. <laughs> so I end up pulling them out and just putting them in the random spot in the house so that I can use them later. But I think that the, might be the first time that I've ever done that for a speed build. Normally I'll just make a mental note, you know, to go back and look for an item or something like that. 
but when I was building this I was so excited about the pack and about the gameplay and you know trying to find time to check out the gameplay and funnily enough I still haven't checked out the gameplay yet but I was just so excited about building with the pack and there was so many things that I wanted to use and I knew that if I didn't pull them out I was going to forget about them I was going to forget about how to find them and where they were so I just pulled out a bunch of random things and put them everywhere but this whole house actually looks very cluttered once I'm done with it you guys will see when we get to the interior I end up adding so much clutter that I mean I don't know how I <laughs> found the patience to do that normally I don't do that with my builds normally I will make my builds look lived in and everything like that but I don't normally spend that much time cluttering everything I don't think there's a single surface in this house that doesn't have at least one piece of clutter on it so you know that's something the kitchen and the living room especially the living room looks like I don't know like the people that are living here has have been collecting books and plants and random statues their whole lives and that's kind of how I wanted this house to look I wanted this house to have a very quirky fun you know kind of all over the place look I didn't want it to be run down or anything like that but I did want it to look like it's a little cottage that's been in this wooded area of the world of Glimmerbrook for maybe hundreds of years and maybe it's a family home so they have a bunch of like old books and books that are just on the shelves or just stacked in a corner or something like that that they haven't opened in years but it's still there they still have it and maybe they do use a lot of them maybe they do read a lot the sims that live here but this living room has so many books that I don't know <laughs> if it was real life I would probably be in heaven as a bookworm I would probably love to live in this house but yeah I love the way this house turned out I think I have three favorite things about this house and that's probably the living room the landscaping that I end up doing I end up doing very like I don't know different landscaping from what I normally do normally I do a lot of suburban you know family kind of homes on the channel if you guys are new to the channel that is mainly what I do I do mainly do like more normal I guess homes family homes community lots stuff like that but I had a lot of fun with this house just going all out and putting a bunch of random things everywhere so like these pink toad tools that I've just pulled out I don't all I don't leave all of them right there but like I said I was pulling out a bunch of things and then you know just putting it everywhere so that I could figure out where I wanted it to go eventually but yeah so those pink toadstools I put a bunch of them around the lot and this tree that I put over this huge rock I wanted to make it look like the tree was growing around the rock so very fan very fantasy and fairy tale like so I love the way this turned out I wanted to make it look like I said quirky and different and not something that you would expect to come across you know in Willow Creek for example you know not a regular family home that you would see walking down the street I wanted to make I wanted to make it look like something that you would have to stumble across in the woods for example so yeah I love the way this house turned out and I just like I said I had a lot of fun playing around with the objects that I wouldn't normally use so landscaping objects even interior decorating objects so like statues and things like that that I wouldn't normally use I had a lot of fun just you know picking random things that wouldn't go together normally and putting them in a build and seeing how they actually do work together that's kind of the feeling that I went for with this whole house and I think that will probably be a reoccurring theme for all of my other builds as well is like weird shapes so diagonals since I normally don't build on diagonals they're really annoying in the sims but like diagonals and weird shapes and a bunch of fun clutter I guess that would probably be will, will probably be the reoccurring theme throughout all of my builds for this pack <laughs> And a bunch of mismatched things mismatching everything <laughs> since that really is for me what I think about when I think about witches and they're not called witches in this pack the new occult in this pack isn't called witches it's actually called spell casters but yeah so that's kind of what I was thinking you know when I was building this I wanted to make it look fun and quirky and 
just different, I guess. So, yeah, we're working on the front yard right now, or we were, I guess. I just talked over all of the landscaping. But, yeah, we're putting in the kitchen right now. We're working on the kitchen. I really love the way this kitchen turned out. I love these new kitchen, like, items that we got. The new appliances look really, really cool. And the counters are gorgeous. I love those new counters. But I do wish they came in some more, like, wooden tones. I really, really wish we got more wooden tones. They have a lot of, like, grey and black and white colour swatches to them. But I wish we got a few more, like, neutral wooden tones. And then they also don't have, up, like, upper head cupboards. So they don't have any cabinets. And that really, really sucks. Since I would have loved to see a matching cupboard or cabinets, I guess, for these cupboards, for these counters. But I do make use of these... I think those two like shelving units that I use came from Jungle Adventure, I think. They work really well in this swatch at least, but like I said, I wish we had counters or like I keep calling them counters, they're cabinets. But yeah, so we're all we're working on the kitchen right now and while we're working on that, I'm just going to tell you guys a little bit more about this house. Like I said, it's a two bedroom, one and a half bathroom house. And it's on a 30 by 20 lot in Glimmerbrook. Now, Glimmerbrook is one of the neighborhoods that we got with this pack. We got two neighborhoods with this pack. We got Glimmerbrook, which is the kind of like residential neighborhood where your sims can actually live. And where you can play in and they can live there and everything like that. And then we have the Magic Realm, which is something that you can travel to. It's like a one lot neighborhood that your sims can travel to. It's where all of the magical things happen and stuff like that but your sims actually can't live there you can build on the one lot that is there you can build on that lot but you'll have to use the free enable free build cheat to do that but glimmerbrook itself where your sim can live has five lots it has four 30 by 20 lots which is what this house is built on it's on built on a 30 by 20 lot and then it has one 40 by 30 lot and the house itself turned out to be almost 85,000 simoleons so it's not that expensive actually if you look at how much is in it but I think a lot of the like where I cut back on a lot of the cost is probably with the landscaping since I did use a lot of debug landscaping and they're free so I think that really really helped but yeah this, also, this house also doesn't have any electronics in it and by electronics I mean like TVs and computers or radios I mean, it still has more modern lights somewhere, and obviously it has a fully functional stove and kitchen and everything. It's not off the grid or anything like that, but I didn't want to put in any modern, like, electronics, like computers or TVs or stuff like that. But I do add in two desks, a desk here in the living room and in the kids' bedroom, that you guys could easily put a, like, laptop or computer or anything like that on if you do want to use it. But I just wanted to make it look like the sims that live here, they don't really have, I don't know, like any desire to watch TV. I think they would rather spend the time reading or spend the time outside or in the like greenhouse conservatory area working on potions in their cauldron or, you know, stuff like that. I don't think they would spend too much time, you know, watching TV, for example. It's just not something that I could see them doing. And I also didn't think it fit in really well with this house, with how cluttered and kind of all over the place I made this house look. I didn't think, you know, having a big plasma screen TV in the living room would, you know, work, I suppose. It would look really, really weird. But yeah, so we're just putting a bunch of little clutter objects everywhere. As I told you guys, I clutter this house up a lot. I end up using a lot of these really weird statues, like these chicken statues and the duck statue and... A bunch of just other statues especially that I don't normally use. I don't normally decorate with statues for some reason. Almost like I forget that they're a thing. But yeah, I end up adding in a lot of clutter. A lot of this build is just me placing down like one or two like big furniture, functional furniture objects that your sims will actually use. And then the 80% of the build is just me going in and cluttering up every room. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's basically what this build is. It's just me cluttering up everything and playing around with the new items that we got. So, I really like the items in this pack. They're not too versatile. They're not like something that I'll be able to use in a regular family home, for example. 
most of them anyway, but they work really well for the style, they work really well for older homes or homes that you want to have look a little bit mismatched or something like that since the wooden tones for a lot of the furniture, all of the wooden tones for these furniture items, they don't really match any of the other things that we have in the game so they don't really match like base game wood tones or stuff like that. And I, I think I mentioned that this house, these items I guess, this pack works really well with vampires and get to work. And what I mean by that is not the wooden tones. <laughs> The wooden tones doesn't match those two packs, but the overall style, I guess, the older, kind of, more, I don't want to say Victorian, but older, I guess, style of those packs work really well with this one. But, yeah, so those are, that's basically what this build is, it's just me cluttering. That's kind of the whole gist of it, and I'm really sorry if this voiceover is all over the place, and all over the place, and, like, I sound like I don't know what I'm talking about or I'm jumping from one topic to the next but I'm really sleep deprived I'm really tired and I'm really excited all at the same time so those things together just make for a really random voiceover so yeah but I do want to tell you guys that this is obviously the first early access video that you guys are seeing from me for this pack but I will have two other videos out today two hours after this one I will have the creator sim for the family that will be living here coming to the channel where we can see a few more of the creator sim items and stuff that came with this pack and then two hours after that I will have a full build buy overview going up where we will have a look at all of the build items and a few of the swatches for all of the items and I will be telling you guys a little bit more about my thoughts about this and stuff like that so that will be coming out today. And then tomorrow we will have a creator sim overview where we will we where we will be going over <laughs> all of the creator sim items and then I will have another speed build out for you guys. And the speed build tomorrow is actually going to be a community lot. It's not going to be a house or anything, it's going to be a community lot. But I had a lot of fun building it and I'm not going to tell you guys what it is. It's not something fantastical or anything like that. It's not Hogwarts or anything but I really had a lot of fun building it and I love how it turned out it definitely still goes with the whole like mystical fantasy kind of I don't know vibe of this whole pack but yeah I also have a really exciting giveaway going on on the channel at the moment a giveaway for Realm of Magic obviously since it is the newest pack but I will be giving away one code for the Realm of Magic pack for PC and Mac and that giveaway will be ending on the 16th of September. So exactly a week from today if you guys are watching this as it comes out. But I will leave a link down below in the description and on the screen for you guys to the video where I talk about that. So that you guys can find out you know, what you need to do to enter and all of those kinds of things. That I'm not going to go into too much detail with in this video. But yeah, so those are all of the videos that you guys can expect so far. I mean, I'm planning a lot of other things for the week as well. Those won't be my only early access videos. But yeah, I'm planning on doing a bunch more speed builds and maybe even a few more creator sims and stuff like that. I probably won't be doing a gameplay overview video since gameplay isn't really what my channel is about at the moment, I guess. I don't want to say I'll never do gameplay videos, but at the moment my main focus on the channel is speed builds. And I also haven't checked out any of the gameplay yet, so I mean I've played about 2 hours of gameplay with this pack so far. And most of that was just me traveling to the magic realm to take pictures of it. So <laughs> yeah, most of those 2 hours I literally just spent taking landscape pictures of the world. So. I don't really count that towards gameplay so I don't think I would be the best person to do a gameplay overview since I don't know what I I don't think I would know what I'm talking about if I do one but there will probably be a bunch of gameplay overviews out already by the time you guys are seeing this video or like coming up shortly after this I know quite a few of my friends are actually planning on doing whole let's plays and stuff that I'm incredibly excited about so yeah, keep your eyes out for those, since I won't be doing one myself, but I will be watching along with you guys. I promise you that. But yeah, we're working on the outside, like, greenhouse conservatory area, and it's definitely more of, like, a lab, I guess, or... I don't know, I don't know if you'd call it a lab, 
but it's kind of just a place for your sims to come and make their potions. I put in that little decorative cabinet that has all of the ingredients and potion bottles and stuff in it. And then I do also add some of these dried herbs and stuff so that it kind of looks like your sims are, you know, using those herbs for their potions. And I put in a few planter boxes so that your sims could plant some of the new harvestables that come with this pack that they will be able to use for potions and stuff. And then the outside of this house, the backyard, is really, really simple. I just put in a picnic bench, a little grill, and this little fireplace area. I thought that would work really well. But most of the, like, yard space for this house is just landscaping, since I figured it would work really well with this pack, and I love the way it looks. So, yeah, this whole pack does give me very much, like, Lord of the Rings vibes for some reason. Especially that tree that I used in the backyard, the one that's growing over the rock. I don't know why, but that really reminded me of Lord of the Rings. And this pack really does remind me of Lord of the Rings. It kind of reminds me of a mixture of Lord of the Rings, like Hobbit, and Harry Potter. <laughs> and I don't know why, but it does for some reason. So yeah, that's definitely the kind of like vibe that I was trying to channel with this build and with all of my other builds so far but I hope you guys like how this build turned out. If you did like it give it a like. If you're new to the channel please consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already and you're looking forward to more Realm of Magic builds and other videos and remember to turn on the notification bell as well to be notified of whenever I upload a new video. But yeah, I hope you guys are all having an awesome day and that you're looking forward to all of the other videos coming up and I will talk to you guys all in my very next video. Bye guys!